Super Rugby Round 12 is here. It's culture round, baby. Let's go. A massive kia ora, bulavanaka, talo falava, and malu leleli to everyone out there. Let's go. Culture round doesn't get better than this, baby. Let's go. Super Rugby to Round 12. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe, hit that like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is your team still in it? Can your team still make it? How have you been going? Do you want the season to end already? Let me know in the comments. I love getting back to or replying to all of the comments. Hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. Moana vs. Chiefs. First game, some squad rotations for both teams. Home game for Moana at Mount Smart. Hope there's a few more spectators than their last home game. Not, not at Tonga, but their last home game in New Zealand. Um, and let's get into some of the teams. So you've got Samuel Malolo comes in at captain at hooker for in Mo, for Moana. You got yeah, Miracle Falangi is come in at flank. Loving man, missed him. Have missed him in the starting lineup. Um, new halfback pairing in Halo and Leola, uh, the nine and ten, and then a debut for, and then a debut for Lalo Milo. At 12, so Julian Sevilla must be resting. It's good to see Tamu Filau on the bench or back in the squad for Pacifica. And for the Chiefs, also big squad rotations. Um, you've got Simon Parker coming in on the flank. Luke Jacobson back in that starting lineup, back with the captain's armband. New halfback pairing in Xavier Rowe and Josh Jacome. Um, loving that. And then... Liam Coombs Fabling comes in on the wing with Nane Saturu shifting to full back. Oh, this man, tough, tough for Moana. Chiefs on such a roll, regardless of who they got in their side, who they're playing up against. They get into their work so quickly. And then just whoever comes in, guys just seem to know exactly where, what, how, and when to do. And they just get their role on. And they're so hard to stop, man. Um, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Moana. They'll have to stick in this one for the full 80. They do well in patches, but, man, they just need a click for that full 80. But I think even then it might be, it won't be enough. Chiefs, I've got Chiefs by 15. Chiefs by 15, but it could be, it could be more. Moving on, we've got Reds versus the Rebels. Reds off a massive win over the Crusaders. First time ever in New Zealand, or first time in New Zealand since 1999. Crazy. So they'll be running on a massive high, big confidence within the squad or in the club. Um, Rebels with a tough loss to the Blues last week and slowly slipping down. That They were in the top four a couple of weeks ago. They're slowly slipping down that ladder um, and it doesn't. It does not get easier for them. Looking at the red side, um, yeah, so pretty much unchanged. I know uh, Penny Ravi has jumped onto the bench for Fiangasi. I think that's how you say it. Um, and then the big inclusion is James O'Connor on the bench. First game for the season. How good to see him back in the mix. Looking at the Rebels side. Um, Tupo comes in to start. Oh, I think he started last week, but he's in this. So his unchanged front row looks like Josh Canham was massive for them last week in the locks. Um, Rob Leota obviously keeping that arm, the captain's armband. There's a bit of change in the backs with Nick Eurster coming in at 12. Um, and then Dan Gunu comes in as well at 13. Loving that. He's been unreal for them. Getting closer to the ball, man, or just giving the ball. Um, so that's going to be a big... Big one for them, and it gets tougher and tougher each week for the Rebels. They'll have to start winning again to have any chance of staying in that top eight. They're there right now, but, man, their fixtures don't get any easier. Reds in fine form. Confidence, like I said, sky high after last week. Aussie Derby, so you kind of don't know. Sometimes sometimes they can sometimes they can toss up some doozies, but um, you don't know, man. I'm going to go Reds. To win this one in a close one, but Reds by five. Reds by five. Then we got the Highlanders versus Crusaders. Big, big NZ Derby. All Blacks Derby. 
New Zealand derby, however you want to call it. Islanders coming off two wins in a row. Loving that for them. Tough games, but wins a win. Um, helps the team build momentum. Helps build confidence within that squad. Um, and then Crusaders coming off yet another loss last week. But they have massive, massive inclusions. Holy. You look at that front row. Tommy Williams comes back in. And Cody Taylor. First game for the season off his uh, break. I think he just had a mental health break or just a sabbatical break. Uh, Cody Taylor back in there. Scott Barrett in there. Oh, man, this team is looking. David Avili keeps his 10 spot. Uh, Noah Hotham gets the jump on Mitch Drummond. Uh, and then the rest of that back line stays the same, man. I think Che Fiaki comes in, actually, at, on the wing. Um, I don't, don't mind that at all. And then Johnny McNichol at fullback's just been unreal for them. We jump over to the Highlanders team. Uh, I thought Cam Miller played exceptional last week, so he keeps his 10 jumper. Martin Bolgado comes in on the wing, scored a beautiful try for them last week. Oh, man, this is still tough. This is a tough, this is a tough one to call. Crusaders always disappoint me whenever I pick them. Um... But if they can't, if they can't win with this squad that they've got now, then they never, then they're just not going to win any games the rest of the season. Um, yes, Islanders are at home; they're off the back of two wins, but you have to pick the Crusaders here. Going off that squad, I don't. Oh man, it's tough. But I'm going to go Crusaders. I'm going to go Crusaders by ten. I'm going out on a limb here, guys. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Match of the round, next one, Blues versus the Hurricanes. Holy, one versus two, let's bang, let's bang. Both coming off massive wins last week. Oh, And the squads, oh man, Zon Sullivan, massive inclusion for the Blues, pretty much unchanged, man. That back through, that loose trio, Yo uh, Yoani comes back in, Akira Yoani, then Papali'i and Oskan Satutu. Sexy back three, man. Then obviously AJ Lamb comes in for Rico Ioane, who's been stood down with concussion. I think it's mandatory 11 or 12 days. Hurricanes. Oh, man. This team is just so, so, so good, man. And Xavier Numia and Tyrol Lomax, in the, the props, fantastic. Delaney and Isa Walker, Leo Wary have been good for them in the back, in the loose. Uh, in the second row, and then the back, the back row of Shields, Lakai, um, Braden Yoase, fantastic. So Shields comes in for Flanders from last week. Shields got that captain's armband. Perenara, Brett Cameron, Keeney Naholo, Jordy Barrett, Billy Proctor, Josh Morby, Ruben Love. This is their top, their strongest back line they can bring. This is probably their strongest team. Obviously, Asafa Omoa, if he was still fit, he'd be in at hooker, um, but Man, this is a team. What a game this is going to be. Blues have a little bit of an upper hand because they're at home. But I still don't think Canes will be like, whatever, man. Let's just bang. Let's bang. This is going to be juicy. One versus two. Man, I think I think Canes are going to come out and really flex their muscles here, man. I think Canes are going to be too strong if... If Blues win it, Blues will win it up front. I said this whole season, the Blues forwards have just been unreal, working so hard together, um, and they'll have to bully the Hurricanes forwards up front, which is no one really, that Brumby's done it, so it can be done, but I don't see it happening. I'm going Canes by three. Let's go, let's go, let's go, okay. We got Waratahs versus Brombies, another big Aussie derby. We're just full of derbies this week. Aussie derby in Sydney. Tars in no form at all. Desperate as all hell. Brombies starting to show their depth and why they're at the top, their continuity together. Um, and then they're showing also that their most important players are in good form at the moment. And coming into the back end of the business end of the season, that's super important. Look at the Waratahs. Um, Jed Holloway at eight. That's very interesting. I mean, Miles Amatosero comes in at the lock. Very, very interesting there. I thought Lungy Gleason was one of their best last week. Unless he's injured. Um, 
yeah, he's not even on the bench. He might be he might be injured. Will Harrison keeps his 10 jumper from last week. Um, and then big, Pone Fa'amasuli. I think that's, I hope that's how you say it. Um, on loan from the Rebels. The prop forward is played for the Wallabies. This is a good deal. Waratahs need prop forwards, man. <laughs> Holy, they've had the worst run of injuries. So it'll be good to see the big man out there. Just some game time, man. Let the boys play. Let him play. And so he comes in on the bench for the Brumbies. I'm pretty sure unchanged, except Charlie Kale comes in. So Jerome Brown, which I thought interesting. He was one of their best last week. But oh, man, Charlie Kale's been unreal this season. Rory Scott was really good last week. They're two very similar players. Um, then Jack DiPresini comes in at 10. Noah Lolisio, man, we're just having a rest, just squad rotations. Who knows, man? And then that center pairing of Tommy Tua and Len Ikitao have been unreal, man. Tua busting through the scenes, getting over that vantage line, and then Ikitao has just got that little bit of X factor, but also strong, hard on both sides of the ball. Man, this is gonna it's gonna be a good game. I don't see oh, I'm, who knows? At Sydney, you just don't know what Waratah's team is gonna rock up. You don't know anymore, man. Are they going to do it? Like, I've been asking them every week to do it for their coach. I know they're obviously trying their best. But come on, man. Surely they can... I don't know. I don't I don't see that happening at all. Um, Brumby's just... Too, like, the only way I see Waratahs coming close is if they picture the Brumbies in red and black jerseys, a la Crusaders. That's how I see Waratahs beating the Brumbies. Yeah, so I'm going Brumbies by eight. Last game of the round, Force, Western Force versus Fiji and Drua, both coming off disappointing losses last week. Force really desperate not to finish with that wooden spoon. They need to start winning games. Um, and then Drua just need to show us that they can perform away from home. They haven't, they haven't been performing away from home, and so it's very, very disappointing, and they, they know that. Looking at the Force team, oh man, I'm just loving. So Isaac Rotto is in there, and, the, and Locke, I'm loving Harris, Tizano, and Princep, that back row, really working well together. Then uh, Nick White comes back in, uh, Donaldson there, Tia Tia, Stewart, um, Kunzel at 13, so Spink, Spink has dropped to the bench with uh, Pullman. Pullman coming in on the wing, and then obviously Beal, our man at fullback. So still a strong team, they're just that, just clicking, just not clicking yet. Um, and then for the Drua, oh man, it's a good team too. Vothe Vothe and Nasila Sila have been really good for them in the locks. Uh, Vothe Vothe keeping Roto Salia out of the team, which is massive because he's he was been I thought been one of their best throughout the season. Um, Darren Alangi. Exceptional last week, a real captain's knock. So keeps that captain's arm bent at eight. Um, and then the back line, oof, Ratu, Vam, Ratu Ravu Tamanda back at wing with Drosese at fullback. Where Ravu Tamanda was at fullback last week, but Drosese is back in, so he's back on the wing and his preferred position. I feel like knows what to do there, man. Get him the ball, get him a bit of space. Let's go some tries, baby. Um, massive man I think this is going to be a super high scoring game that boy, those teams both teams just love throwing the ball around and charging their arm and really going for those tries so looking forward for that to that one um, and they both got massively exciting players across the park Drua just need to show that they can win I, they've shown me more though against stronger oppositions than what the force have so I'm going to back Drua here by 12 by a big score but they really need to show me, like, if they don't win, then we know they curse. They can't play away from home. They can't. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love to hear your guys' comments. How's the Super Rugby been for you? It's culture round. Let's go. Let's bang. Hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.